I've probably read around maybe two or 300 comments from Americans saying that the Tesla Model Y and the Model 3 standard range models don't qualify for the EV incentives. They don't qualify. You're not going to get your 7,500 because the batteries are not from America. This is completely false. I don't know why people keep making these comments. If you jump on Tesla's website, you'll see what the true answer to this really is. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Now, if you have a friend who doesn't like to do research but likes to talk, there's a lot of people like that. They don't They don't like to just Google. These kind of people I, I personally get very frustrated with. I think you're making statements like Bill Gates without just doing a quick Google search first. It's not that hard to do that. Anyway, the Model Y standard range. It's now a, a unified model worldwide. Basically, if you want a Model Y, the cheapest version in America, it's the same as the cheapest version everywhere else around the world. Now, there's some tiny variations, but they're pretty much the same car. That said, there is an improved version of the Model Y in China. It's, it's very similar, but it does have a slightly more range, a couple of percent more range, and it's got a couple of changes to minimal changes to the interior, uh, such as the new lighting and a slightly changed dashboard and it also has an extra 70 to 90 horsepower so it's a bit faster but other than that they're the same cars with the same batteries the batteries are lithium ion phosphate batteries from catl so it's the same battery chemistry as the model 3 standard range model 3 standard range all around the world also has lfp batteries either from byd or catl most of them are from catl anyway the Model 3 standard range does qualify for the $7,500 tax incentive. And the bit of the confusion is this. It didn't originally qualify. So the Model 3 only qualified for the $3,750 credit because there was some confusion about the batteries and whether or not the batteries qualified. Now, they do qualify because, as I pointed out, and I don't believe anyone else pointed this out until I did mention this, the lithium that Tesla use in these batteries comes from a free trade partner. So the lithium is being mined in Australia. It's then sent to China, where it's basically put into a CATL battery cell. CATL send the battery cells to Tesla in the US, then Tesla builds the battery packs in the US. So that's basically meaning that those battery packs qualify for the incentives. That's the reason why they do qualify. And if you jump on Tesla's website, you'll see it, it just says it on the, the top page. Um, Tesla Model Y does qualify, Model 3 does qualify for the full 7,500 incentive, but it says another thing, it probably won't qualify next year. The restrictions change every single year. They get harder and harder and harder to meet. So if Tesla is still selling these versions of the Model 3 and the Model Y next year in the US, Tesla is suggesting it probably won't qualify if you buy the standard range model with LFP batteries. You still get 3,750, but you won't qualify for the extra incentive, the battery incentive portion, which is an additional 3,750. Now we don't know for sure, Tesla may be able to do something different, where they may be able to start using batteries from the US or something else, I don't know. But that's the current situation. And that is why the Model Y and the Model 3 both qualify for the full $7,500 incentive. So if you've got friends or if you're seeing these websites on these Tesla forums or other electric car websites, just respond to them because it's a lot of misinformation is being getting shared around the EV sphere. A lot of this misinformation is used by people who are anti-electric cars to try and say, don't buy a Tesla because of X or don't buy an EV because of this. It's really important, I think, that we try and try and clear up some of this misinformation. And it, personally, if you're one of the people making these comments, guys, please, it's really exasperating seeing this stuff out there because you're, you're basically telling millions of people something that's completely false. Remember, if you're going to go to a mainstream website, it's possible these websites in combination, but they're being read by millions of people and then people are scrolling down these comments. You sound like you're an expert because you're saying something so confidently that's completely false, but you're saying it in a very confident way that's false. And then they tell everyone else. So all of this stuff means misinformation. So let's just let's just try to slow down this misinformation. If you've got a friend who's doing this, tell them, mate, stop making stuff up. Before you post stuff, do a bit of research, do a quick Google search, 
find out whether or not what you're saying is actually true. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching.